Hey guys, what is going on? Today we're going to be working on the Jaguar Type F. We have a ton of stuff to go over today, so let's get right into it, okay? First and foremost, guys, the disc brake. We ordered another one of these. Jaguar sells this for $400. We got this for $70. Also, the wheel here. A couple of these carbon fiber pieces on here, I think we'll be able to save or salvage, but this one is completely missing, and this one has a huge gash right there. And like a set of those is like five, 600 bucks, which is crazy. So these two, we're actually gonna try and make our own, not today, but sometime when we get time, we'll try to make those. And we'll salvage these three. We ordered the new Ram. Those wheels sell for $1,700, guys. $1,700, almost $1,800 actually. And that's online where you get the discount from Jaguar OEM. When you actually buy those from a local dealer, they wanted over $2,000. That is crazy sauce, man. But we were able to get that for $450 and it is on the way and that for $71, that's on the way. So that is gonna save us a ton of money, guys. Also guys, right here you can see some serious damage here and right here on this door, that's the right hand passenger side door, that is really damaged. We are actually gonna take this door off and take it to a body shop in a couple days and get a price to get that fixed. This hood's like $2,500 to $3,000 with the carbon fiber pieces here. We are actually gonna take this as well and see if they can fix that because really this whole entire hood is okay except for that one spot that is just pressed in right there. So if we can get that fixed and save money on that and save money on this door because this door is almost $2,000, that's $5,000 saved. And last but not least guys, the actual rear bumper. It is completely smashed on the corner here. When it comes to down over here, the entire piece is completely missing and there's no way I can really fill that in and fix that. For how much one of these bumpers costs online, I'm seeing that these are about $300, including shipping. Now, I don't know if it's the exact same color, but we are just gonna order another one of these from online and uh, get that going. Now, the rear diffuser that I'm looking at is entirely carbon fiber. We wanna go and I, don't, I think I've told some of you guys this, but I haven't told all of you guys this. We are gonna go AMG GTR green on this F-Type R. So a color like that or similar is the color I wanna go on this car. And then everything else that's on this car, what I want is dark carbon fiber accents. I think that would look amazing on this car, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but AMG GTR green or a similar color like that with black, dark carbon fiber accents. With the curves that this car has and all the just beautiful angles that this thing has, and we already have a lot of carbon fiber on this car for what it is, I think that is gonna make it look phenomenal. And one last thing, guys, I forgot to mention, we actually have the window washer fluid reservoir on its way. So when that gets here, we'll throw that on there as well. Let's start with getting this bumper off. All these things just have those pins that just pop right off and you can just pull with a little bit of a jerk and pull this entire piece completely off. I'm just gonna set all these pieces in here and keep them all together so we don't lose anything. just always amazes me how dusty the inside of these things gets. It is crazy. We're probably gonna vacuum that out. Like, look at all that, guys. Like, this isn't rust or anything. This is just, just dust. And over here as well. It just amazes me how much crap just gets inside these things. Play with the new toy again. I love this thing, guys. So, unfortunately, to get this bumper off, what we're gonna have to do is actually take both wheels off. There's some bolts here and here, but you have to take the wheel well off to be able to access those. But here's the problem. We have the main jack holding the engine up right there, so we can't mess with that. And we have this janky jack. We're gonna try and use that, but I don't think it actually goes above a certain point. And then like, I don't think it's got enough strength to actually lift the entire car up, so. We may have to go to Harbor Freight and get another jack. Let's try and jack this one up and see if this actually works. Uh, 
I think it actually did lift it enough to where we can actually jack it up. It's just the wheel is kind of wedged in. Man, barely. That's crazy. Let's hurry up and get that off just in case. <laughs> That was a pretty wide looking tire, but wow, the, this is crazy. The tread is so thick here, but the tread in the center is so bad. It's like bald completely. Like look at the, look at that over here. Over here, this tread. Over here, there's a little bit of tread, but in the center, it's toast. These wheels, we're gonna have to replace these tires. Wow, I'm so glad this didn't get hit back here. Man, look how intricate all those components are in there. That's way more stuff going on in the front. Okay guys, so take a look. We flipped this liner back blow all the dust from the rocks out of the way, geez. And right there, see those two bolts? Those are what needs to come out. So we'll get those out right now. But yeah, we got that wrapped up. Let's go to this side and get this done. The thing over here is it's gonna be interesting because when we take this off, we can actually see what damage is done in here. So that's kind of good that we're doing this already. Cool, we're good there. Let's get it off. Going again, that center, man. I don't know if it's the all wheel drive or what, but this is so low. Okay, guys, so the only thing from what I can tell in here that looks like is bad that is causing this issue back here is this tie rod being bent right here. So, if this is the only thing we have to get, then I think we seriously dodged a bullet. We're gonna get that order tonight, get that in there, and see if that was the problem. Okay guys, look at that, it moved forward, so that's good. Let's put this bolt back here. Okay, we finally got it guys. Jeez, this was such a pain in the butt. You know, it's not supposed to be, you know, turning this much. <laughs> like, this angle is not correct. There we go, finally. There it is, guys. Well guys, now that we got that out, back to the easy stuff, and let's get this uh, wheel well taken off and get this freaking bumper off the back. Looks like there's some kind of tube or something disconnected, so we'll have to figure out where that goes. Probably some kind of windshield wiper fluid or something, I don't know. Probably a reservoir back here. And it doesn't look like it was torn off. It just looks like it was pulled off, so hopefully, Whatever this is supposed to connect to is still back here. Maybe not. We'll probably see better once we get that bumper off, so. There's some more wiring that needs to be unhooked. With the new rent. See all the wiring and all that stuff hanging? To know exactly where all this wire and stuff goes and is routed and like there's a just a mess of wires and stuff over here. I think the, the, the big connectors actually go into here somewhere and so I have to disconnect them somewhere in here to push them through the holes that are on each side. And so I have to take out, I think, this entire liner, which means I have to take out this, all this, and take all these little brackets and everything off. I already took that out um, to be able to get that off when I get the next bumper and I install it, I want to be able to see exactly where everything goes as I move it. <laughs> what, a, what a pain in the butt for a bumper, man. So I guess let's get going on this and uh, get all this torn out now. to see these are all the components that are underneath here it looks like and so what I'm able to do now is retrace that wire disconnect it from here and push it through so that we can take this freaking bumper off there we go yay wow does that look like some shit <laughs> no thank you 
So this is everything. It's all unplugged. I mean, look at that mess of, <laughs> of crap. So it's all unplugged, but luckily everything just plugs in like right here, 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 and here, and here. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna push this through and hopefully get this freaking bumper off. Okay, it's kind of a mess, but we got her off and then there we go. Boom. This is exactly what I wanted, guys. I wanted it to all come out so that I can see exactly how it goes on the next bumper. So we got this completely off and, and this is where the wires are broken right here, where the sensor was at. Maybe I can, that just looks like some, oh, look at that. So this thing that is broken here, as we trace it back, boom, 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 boom. And it connects inside. We got a part number. Look at that guys. So now we can figure out where this guy goes. <laughs> oh man, a little overwhelming, but uh, I, think we're, I think we're getting it guys. I think we're just, we're barely getting it. I think we're getting it. I cannot wait till we drive this thing guys. Like for real, it'll all be worth it when it's done. That sound that this thing makes is gonna be epic and we're probably gonna straight pipe it. By the way guys, show some love and uh, smash that like button for me. Okay guys, let's get this door knocked out. Different sizes as usual. So all that's left is, I gotta unhook this. Somehow I think that just goes down and it pops out. Let's see if I can do it while I hold, oh, see, there you go, boom. Oh, that's the inside of a Jaguar F-Type R and it's not painted right here. But that's fine because you'll never see that, right? Okay guys, I got a feeling things will get a lot easier if we take this off and the speaker off because we can pull those off and we'll have access to back behind here. I know the piece of glass might be on the way on the other side, but maybe we could pull it up and yank it out or unhinge it or whatever. I think that's the next step. So let's get that going and see where we end up. Glued on there too? something. There we go. Thank God I'm recording this guys. I would have no idea how this goes back together. This is just way too much. They even have little weep holes for the water to run out and everything. And man, look at how dirty it is on the bottom window here. Like, I guess you wouldn't know though. And then look at this. There's like, uh, looks like there's a little bit of mold and stuff. So this stuff gets inside your car and man, it gets pretty nasty, man. So guys, we pretty much got almost everything wrapped up on this door. We need to get a tool. There's an actual tool for this cog in here that when the window's rolled up and you reach back behind there, you can actually wrench it off and unscrew it. So there's one over here and there's one over here. So we need to order that tool. Once we get that tool, we'll be able to continue and knock this door out, but it's pretty much done for the most part. From that point on, once you unscrew it, it comes undone. And then all we have to do is throw the wires through here, unscrew this and bada bing, bada boom. So guys, I've actually been thinking maybe I should get a board and like put it like on that wall over there or maybe on this wall here that shows all the pricing listed out so that you guys can see and know how much we're spending on this car as we go. And if you have any suggestions, then you can let me know and I can put it on the board as well. Let me know in the comments below and it will be done. But honestly, we got a ton done today on the Jaguar F-Type. Everything is looking amazing. We got the bumper off, we got all that taken care of. We got this door taken care of for the most part. And we're gonna be ordering the tie rod. I think that's the only issue with this whole thing is just 
the tie rod, everything bounced back kind of to the way it's supposed to be. So I think we're good there. For the most part, I think we are good guys. But boy, oh boy, wasn't this a mess. Like tons of stuff in here. This is just ridiculous to have to take your back bumper off. But uh... also guys, we got the color for the wrap on its way. I can't wait to show you what that's gonna look like. That is gonna be beautiful. And then also we have to look for a carbon fiber diffuser because like I said, I'm doing carbon fiber all around the bottom on this thing and other accents as well. This thing is gonna look sick. Also guys, thanks for all your positive feedback, your comments. I greatly appreciate it. And honestly guys, thanks for all the information, everything you guys do for me. I absolutely love it. Anyways, smash that like button, it helps a ton. If you like the channel and you like what you see and you wanna follow along with this project and other projects that we have in the future, subscribe. Hit the notification guys for updates on everything that we're gonna be posting in the future. So guys, like that, I'll see you in the next video.